it's Christina with the Backstage Artist Lounge. We are at South by Southwest, of course, with the band Native June. How are you, gentlemen? We are very well today. It's a bit early for me this morning, afternoon thing. True story. I know. And the rest of your band is still sleeping in? Well, they just woke up. They're actually on the other side of Austin right now. Oh, um, here. Um, for the people that don't know, do you want to tell them your names and what you play in the band? I think that's a great idea. My name is Gabe Watson. I am the singer. I'm the guitarist. I am one of the original members of the band, so um, I'll go ahead and introduce Mr. Michael Brown. I'm the drummer, and I've been with them for four weeks, three weeks? Four weeks. Four weeks, so not six years. But I feel like it could be forever. So suddenly the band got really cool like about four weeks ago. Is that what you're saying? Well, we've noticed <laughs> you know, there's so many two-piece bands <laughs> these days. We thought you know, Mike and I were going to go solo today. So, um, oh, really? Our other two bandmates, yeah. uh, Marcial Chaput. Uh, French guitarist and Tristan Hindi, yes. bass guitarist, they um, who are not with us right now. We would like to announce to them right now that Mike and I are, are going to move on as a two-piece with <laughs> Native June. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, but you know, checks in the mail. These guys I don't know what the trick is. You know, some bands just have it. I mean, what is it to giving a good show? Like, what do you think is the secret? The secret? Um, just pretend nobody's watching you. <laughs> you know, that's good. Pretend you're just at home. Uh, just just having a party, you know, and with your best friends. And uh, that's, that's a good all way you got to do. It. And, you know, and then everyone has, seems to, you know, want to have that party vibe too. And It's true. Rock and it's roll. True. So what are your goals for the band, Native of June? Like, what do you want to accomplish in the future as a band? Oh, you know, that's it's such a broad question, I guess, you know. Cover the Rolling well, Stones. define success? Number one you? hit to cover the yeah. Rolling Stones. <laughs> of course. There you, you know, go. These are, you Those know, are good answers. Just be, you think know, like that. Be rock stars. You know, yes. just, just, just rock it out. I mean, how do you define success as a band these days? You know, a, a lot of things we look at right now are like getting song placements mm -hmm. and getting into, getting into getting our music into television and film and advertising. Um, it's important to have a good team of uh, people yeah. as an artist. It's, it, I've, I've found it's the most important thing. In fact, you know, as we do experience more and more success mm -hmm. and m more momentum builds, we realize it happens when more and more good people come into our, our circle. It's true. And we uh, met through some of your very good people. Sure. So uh, Planet LA Records. Um, Rev 7 Gum. Rev 7 Gum. The band right now, right? Absolutely. Story. Backstage Artist Lounge. Oh! Thank you. We get to be part of your story. Yay. <laughs> we definitely want to be a part of your success. You are, so you we're are. gonna do everything that we can. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. do you guys connect with your fans a lot? I mean, are they interactive? Like, do they? You have lots of meet and greets, contests. I mean, how do you kind of like build the relationships with your fan base? Um, I mean, definitely our live shows is where you know we you definitely get to meet people. Meeting mm -hmm. people face to face, it, you know, that's that's the ideal way. It's true. That's how it's you true. So you got to come out to their show and meet them. You do you need know. to meet these guys. They are so funny. My face actually hurts from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Last night we went to your show to see the showcase live and ended up staying for hours and hours because you're all such funny, interesting individual characters in your band. You know, well, it's well, thank you. it's quite a quite a crew you've got there. Well, l let me say, we just did an interview a couple of days ago. I don't think I really got to say anything. Mike <laughs> maybe talked a little bit, but tr yeah. Tristan and Marcel, they just. You know, they always try to steal the show. So I think, you know. So today I'm you left them at home. <laughs> maybe, you know, like, maybe there was a reason we didn't text them this morning. <laughs> That's why we did tell them that like the interview. Like, totally just X them out of the whole thing. I told them to be in San, <laughs> I told them to be in San Antonio at 2 p.m. <laughs> They're on their way to San Antonio. I'll just be honest with you. Right. Don't ever lie to <laughs> So you guys, I brought this for you too today. It's uh, alcohol-infused flavored whipped cream. What would we put that on? You can shoot it directly into your mouth. Um, I always do it like right on hands and like cheers and then like that. It's pretty Why cool. Why don't we do that? We could do it. We could do it. We'll do it. We'll, do it. Uh, we'll wrap up our final interview questions, and this will be the icing on the, the okay. cake, so to speak. I, I um, <laughs> what I've noticed, cause I've only been in this band for, for, for four weeks, but for me, I think musically, hanging out with good people, like solid people that yeah. know – their instruments, they know what they're doing. That's where the inspiration comes from. Even if it's someone that just knows their craft, a writer, or an artist, mm -hmm. or something like that. Like that's yeah. that's where it, where it comes from. You know, yeah. it's, it's true. we all kind of fuel each other in a way. So that's cool. I was just quizzing Mike because I wanted to, I wanted to see what he thought. The new guy testing him out. Yeah, I mean, what is the story of the band? You know, when people say, "Oh, this is the band Native June," they're all about this. What is the interesting storyline of how it came together? Um, well, we started six and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. We met on Craigslist. No I way. I was the third member of the band. 
Wow. The original two members of the band aren't in the band anymore. Wow. Um, they left a couple years ago, mm -hmm. um, right before the times got better. <laughs> so um, I'm the third member. The next that's still in the band is Tristan. Yep. So him and I have been playing for over four years together, five years. So then uh, two years ago, our guitarist, mm -hmm. Marcel, he joined the band, and then Mike just came along. So it's it's been an evolution. That's how it happens. It's been an evolution. You know, even in our music, we released our so second album, in September 2011, and you know that album has musicians from different periods in our band, mm. so it's it's very interesting for me to listen to. And like I, I hear like m you know my old friend Matt Venucci playing the mandolin, yeah. you know, and like Aww. my you know my my homeboy Lior, you know, playing guitar on a track. And so it's you know it's a very collaborative uh, project that we yeah. approve. So, so you need to check these guys out on tour, get their current album EP. What do you got going on? Ocean to Sunset. Ocean to Sunsets. Make sure you pick that up. Native June. Native June. They really are good. Seriously, check them out. My Actually, favorite band. All of our all of our music is free to download. NativeJune.com. What? Right? Is it really? <laughs> we got get their music. It's get their the, music. It's in the it's interweb. So it's on the interweb. Go to the interweb. It's there. Get free music. But seriously, um, my favorite band of South by Southwest 2012. I'm Christina from the Backstage Artist Lounge. This is Native June. Check them out. <laughs> there ain't no last call. Backstage.